people just they don't know why Christianity offends. Well, it's not that it tries to offend. It's just bringing a great truth that people don't want to hear. And one of the great truths is we're sinners. Everybody wants to think, well, you know, I'm a good person. I do all this good stuff, so therefore, I'm a good person. That's their standard. God has another standard. His standard's much higher than ours. And that offends. The other part is, Jesus went to the cross. Well, how can that offend? The way it can offend is, the cross is something that we should have carried, we should have been crucified to, and should have hung from and died. It's a cruel death. And every single one of us deserves it. The other thing is, God says, I love you, and I want you to be mine. You don't have to work for it. See, that offense. That offense because lots of people want to prove themselves. They want to work their way. And to the ones doing all these good works, like I mentioned a little while ago, God says, you know what, I'll take that person that's broken, messed up their lives so bad, and if they just call out and ask me for help, and say that they take the punishment that my son did on the cross for you, I'll take you, and I'll recognize you above the others that try to make themselves good. And... Those that tried to make themselves good and rejected this will be punished forever. And this offends. So, cross stumbles really is an answer. An answer to everything. And with the cross... You know, it's the fulfillment of the law. What does that mean? The law is the Ten Commandments. And the Ten Commandments, they reveal sin. My videos are going to be geared around doing like the way I'm starting this video off. Trying to keep people from stumbling over the cross and see it from a different perspective and try to help some people who want to give it a chance but are not sure. I'd like to try to point you in a different direction and see that, you know what? You don't have to stumble. I'd really like to help you so, keep looking here for future videos. I'm sure you're going to find it very different than anything you've ever seen before. And I'll try to just give you some cheap answers. Some quick, uh, just, you know, like, just give me the basics. Just, just give me the basics so I, all I need to understand. That's garbage. You know, because of all the basics that people have been given so many years, it's too many different denominations. All we really have to do is pick up the Bible and just study it. You say, well, I have. No, you try to do it of your own. You try to do it from the angle of where your church comes from. Why don't you try to just pick it up and just read it and see what it says?